What is going on? No, I'm just kidding. I can't talk like that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but welcome back. We're just working on our swordsmanship because our good old friend Miyamoto Masashi once said, the purpose of today's training is to defeat yesterday's understanding. We're going to try not to embarrass ourselves also. But to get you up to speed, in the last episode, we escaped from the Shogun occupation and control of their camp. Lost our horse on the way. Yuna saved us yet again, and we made our way out to Jogoku Temple, which is actually what we're going to do here now. We're going to cut forward to that point. Uh, I believe that's where the main mission is going to be, but there's going to be some other side content. So I'll travel there, and then I will meet you guys there. Alright, rolling up here, we do have a side quest. If I believe correctly, Lord, you know, I'll just let this finish out. We'll the go from there. forced my master to craft a set of armor for Kotun Khan himself. It's not enough for him to conquer our home. He has to steal from our people as well. When my master finished his creation, he saw a chance to run. He fled with the armor. Where did he take it? He hid two pieces of it on different farms, far apart from each other. And the others? The Mongols got them. They found your master before he hid the rest. When he refused to tell them where to find the missing parts, they executed him. I'll find every piece of that armor and avenge your master's death. He'd be honored for you to wear the armor, my lord. Bring the pieces back to me, and I'll be sure they fit you properly. Master definitely paid the ultimate price, but, uh, set us up to capture the armor. Alright, so like I was saying... I think what we'll do is, well, actually, we're going to go ahead and knock these out. Uh, we're going to stop the giving tree first, but with these pieces of armor, I believe there's four of them we're going to collect. It's going to have different kind of side objectives and things like that, but they're going to all be sent around, if I believe correctly, around different villages, which is kind of a... Uh, we'll get two birds with one stone by doing this. It's also going to allow us to liberate different territories, which then obviously goes into liberating the whole, uh, I guess, I don't know what to call that, territory. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I lost where I was going there. That guy, I think he ate shit like three or four times. Looks like he like knows that we're looking at him, too. He keeps looking back. He's like, they didn't see that. Oh, we saw it, buddy. We saw it. All right, it's a little bit away. Uh, I'll fast travel, and I'll meet you guys when we get there, and then we will see what's in store for us. All right, we have gone into the first village here. Uh, the side objective at this point is, well, the main objective at least, is we're going to defeat the Mongols, take out the archers, we need to collect the Sashimono banners, and then we are also That's going it. to need, I forget what the side one, I believe we have to assassinate somebody without being seen. I'll look at it here in just a second for you guys. Yeah, so assassinate enemies without being seen. That was close. Uh, if you've watched in the previous episodes, the cool thing about this side objective well, about assassinations not being seen, as long as you don't draw the whole camp in, and that's typically going to be with the brutes and their kind of sounding horn they use, as long as you don't draw the whole camp to attention of where you are, if you are seen, you can go from spot to spot here, and if you do mess up, you're going to get a second opportunity, third opportunity, however many you're given, to then obviously clear out the three assassinations without being seen. Right now it looks like I can't get the kind of ground and footing I want on this rock. And he's not really helping us by moving either, is he? Oh, well, got a little closer. But it doesn't want us on this rock. Yeah, and he's going to see me if I do that. I'm thinking, yeah, you know what, this is a lost cause. We got more than one. We got the Hwacha operators up top as well. So what we'll do is we'll jump down here. I'm assuming this is one of the Sashimono banners. Oh, what is going on? Okay, we were kind of forced to this position, so at least we had that going for us. Yeah. 
All right, I cut a little bit of that, guys. Pretty much all you're going to want to do, at least the way I did it, is I worked just clockwise around the camp, standing on the left side, and just swung around. And eventually, you will come up to this entrance here of the actual camp. I kind of came in on the wrong side, so I kind of put myself in a bad position there starting out. This will make it a little bit easier for you. Uh, but there is an opening like you just saw me go through. You can work through there. It looks like we have a couple dogs and one main swordsman here. I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll probably actually take out this dog. And then... He's not... Okay, so we got a horn, so... Let's see how this progresses. I don't think there's anybody in this territory at this point to even hear him. But he looks like he's ready. <laughs> That's not going to count towards our goal, obviously. Ooh, sorry, bud. Hit him right in the shoulder and then the paw. It's terrible archery. All right, looks like you got records and a banner on this little hut. And artifacts. That was me uh, not doing a good job to observe. Again, you could always use your ghost sense. I try to avoid it. Depending on how this mission goes, though, I might honestly have to use it just so we can get the bonus objective done. Try to get those at all costs. They're not ne entirely necessary, obviously, but do what we can. Yep, and there's another one of those scenarios again where I would have been better off using the ghost sense. Alright, we're gonna learn from our mistakes here. See, I don't know if you guys can hear them right now, but I hear at least two of them, and it looks like they're both inside. So there are a couple ways you can draw enemies out. You can obviously use wind chimes. Seems like we're lucky enough that this guy actually came in on his own. Oh, but you can also use arrows. Depending on the situation, if there's multiple that are going to see you, I probably would avoid that option. But in this scenario right here where this guy's just chilling by himself, I think I'm going to go ahead and I might just use an arrow and see if we can pull him at least out from this overhang. Well, we got him out. He just went the wrong way. What'd you come this way for? All right, we got all four banners. I'll timestamp these two for you guys. So if you want to go back and collect them at any point, if you go into these villages though, they're gonna make you, they're gonna force your way through. So not entirely necessary, but anyway, I can help out. Gotta be straight up with you guys. Your sound uh, perception is terrible. All 
All right, we need one more. I know we got a couple guys in this camp here, though. That guy's looking right at us. I'm gonna get my bearings real fast. I think he sounded out to a couple of them. So what, we got three? Actually, we might get lucky. This archer might come right at us. There we go. All right, sometimes we get lucky in this game. It's always nice. We're gonna, yeah. It's a leader, so you know what's gonna happen. Yeah, he was stuck on the defensive from the start. All right, at this point, realistically, I think we just need to take out these Swatch Operators. Looks like we're gonna get a pretty nice situation here, actually, again. Let's see how much we can turn this thing. <laughs> they must just be confused. They're like, wait, are we having a misfire? I was gonna say, what is this awareness right now? Uh, it looks like we have the cache just beneath us here, so we could set that off, but we're gonna clear out the rest of these Mongols first and then we'll move up. I do believe that when you clear out a lot of, that is not the way we, uh, but when you clear out a lot of these camps, I do believe a lot of them are gonna have a, uh, like a fight the general option. If you finish off all the tasks, like setting off this black powder cache, I believe it gives you the option to summon the rest of them to fight you. So don't think that you necessarily have to clear out everybody. You can get the tasks done first and then bring them all to you, which I think is what we're going to do here, honestly. All right, perfect, just like I said. All right, like I've done with the last couple here, I'm gonna try to break down the move flow as we go through the fight. So bear with me, try to talk loud enough so that I actually am picked up over all the sound that comes out from the fights and the duels here. But try to give you an idea of a breakdown of the next move sequences he's gonna have, what to avoid, what to kind of look for to make it a little bit easier maybe on you. And uh, let's duel. I mean, as of right now, he looks like he might be the easiest one. Kind of goes with his over-the-top swinging action every time. Yeah, as you can see there, sometimes I'll do a little wrist flare. But yeah, he has that that unblockable or unparryable there that he does with the shield, and then he follows up with the same kind of over-the-top action. Oh, and he threw a little big boot at it. Oh, oh, okay. Caught me talking shit. Caught me talking shit. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, I need to get back to perfect parries. 
You perfect parry most of these. I'm like, there we go. All we gotta do is focus on it. But the perfect parries change the pace of this tremendously, as you can see. You can parry just regular ones if you got bad timing on them. Wow. Uh, but if you do have... I'm trying to give another perfect parry for you guys. And he just keeps throwing an unblockable on a boot at me. Come on, man. Alright, you know what? No. No more. We're done. Like how it just drops to the ground. <laughs> Alright, like you see, we just had like 20 dudes just run away. Looks like we unlock some elf shoes for our Mongol armor. Again, I'm not a big fan of this armor, but two birds, one stone makes sense. Uh, I'm pretty sure this isn't like a perfect kind of square diamond. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll cut this time. We'll do the same thing we did with this first camp and I will meet you guys at the second camp. All right. We've rolled up into the camp, same kind of deal. We got a fishing village. We need to rescue five hostages and the goal is again, try not to be seen. I've kind of walked myself up into a pretty bad situation. I'm trying to make the most out of it. I think what we could do is just roll around. We got one. Um, you know what, let's go ahead. I usually don't like trying to assassinate these open door NPCs because there's always one to two roaming around with them. Case in point. <laughs> yeah, all I could think to do in that situation was just to run away. Oh, we almost pulled it off. All right. I think a lot of these uh, hostage situations are going to be pretty similar uh, to like the assassinations without being seen. They're probably going to be like little individual camps, and we're going to have to work through a sequence of buildings to unlock each hostage. So don't think because you messed up on the first camp here like I've done and I've been spotted that that's necessarily going to ruin the mission for you. Flashing yellow light almost got me distracted and almost went straight to it. You'll be free soon. They say you killed a hundred Mongols taking back the castle by yourself. The best day of my life, my lord. You're safe now. Who cares how we killed the Mongols? Best day of his life, you hear that? I was about to die. Some of us are complaining because our food tastes like shit. <laughs> or traffic. It's a cool thing I like about these kind of games. It really just opens your eyes to a different perspective, you know. Humble beginnings. But like I mentioned earlier, uh, these camps are going to be broken off separately. And it looks like even if we roll through and we are spotted, which I guess we're not going to be spotted because he ran away, uh, we'll be all right. Am I kidding? I was just taking out a model. What do you want from me, guy? Who 
hold still. We need more like you, Lord Sakai. Go. Be well. Should have stayed. All right, how fast do you think we can speed run these next three hostages? <coughs> Sorry, that hop's kind of funny looking. Let me in! I'm pretty sure we got one or two more here on this lower level. There we go. Is that a friend? Guess we're golden. Two more to go. Oh, I feel like an asshole. I did not mean to do that. Cool if you didn't see me and I could pull off like a little aerial assassination there. I have to imagine this archer is gonna walk away. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. We're just gonna go right at him. Ooh, just a little fancy little spin. With a big boot. Got me. Oh, come on. That was a headshot. Oh. Surprise. I know there's more of you. Another one of those situations that dude had no idea what was going on. Oh, he got me in my liver. Take that 
weather. Alright, this will be four on the hostages. And then it looks like our last one's just down the hill from us. I think what we'll do is we'll keep this episode shorter today, and we'll go ahead and we'll end it after this one, and then we'll open up part 14 with the next two pieces of armor, and then end that with uh, putting together of the whole Mongol piece. I think it's one of the ugliest armors in the game, but it does come with like a massive buff to health, damage, all that crazy stuff. So it is kind of like an instant cheat code for some of you if you'd like that. Uh, and then when we get back to part 15, we'll resume our regular schedule program with following along the main story, doing what we do best. Oh! Man, these like fillets of meat. Please help! You're going to be alright. My lord, I think you were destined to come here. This piece of armor was given to us by the man who made it. He was fleeing the Mongols. This was crafted for Kotun Khan. But I'll be the one to wear it. Thank you for keeping it safe. Of course, my lord. Alright, that's going to be two of the four pieces that we need to collect. We'll finish those off in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please take the time to consider leaving a like. And I will see you guys in part 14.